Hey, welcome back to our Let's Play, everybody. I've been kind of running around my world and just playing the game, and I got on to record specifically, and then it's about like an hour and a half later, I'm like, wait, I haven't even started recording yet. I'm just playing the game. <laughs> I'm just kind of spicing up my main area here. I like changing it up every once in a while. I can't have it the same forever. Even though it still looks relatively the same. I've been, I just want to put an amethyst on display here and... What am I doing? Why is there a puffer fish there again? <laughs> just like, sometimes I do stuff and I don't even realize why. I'm up here in the trophy room and I was uh, looking in this chest and what is this? Okay, if any of you, I've sat here for five minutes trying to figure out what this is. If any of you knew, remember what this is from, Please let me know because I put it in here for a reason. And I don't even remember what a wolf keeper. What? What is this? God, my banners are always messing up in this world. Okay, so oh, I wonder if my chicken is still down there in the torture chamber. Yep, he is waiting to be tortured. So our little area down here, the black market. I've been saving up brick. Well, not necessarily. I just have brick. I just happen to have some brick. Over this way, we have our training course, or not a training course our fighting arena and we kind of left it on hold because I needed more brick and getting brick in this game is kind of a difficult process sometimes but not really I just happen to have a lot right now and I actually want to finish this up so let's do that sewer hub now I'm still working on the fighting arena I actually got quite a bit done over there but I was thinking I want my sewer to connect to it I am a slime after all. I want this place to look really cool. I want to be able to travel through here quite a bit and I want to have multiple different things down here such as we already have the nether portal, like a cobble dump. But the first thing I need to do is make it easier to travel in. And right now I'm never going to use any boats in here and this is already too wide in my opinion. Okay, will these stay waterlogged? Oh, they do. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so I think I should do something like this to make it easier to walk through but still have... Oh yeah, that is... So much nicer. Oh yeah. Okay, I like that a whole lot better. Oh God, I did it again. I've been working for like an hour without recording and I hate that because I'm running out of time, but I can still make a decently long episode, I think. Uh, I mean, there's probably even not much to show. I've just been spicing up the sewer hub. I always use the word spice up. I've been making the sewer hub look better. I added the staircase going up this way too because it was kind of annoying, only having one way down there. I come down here quite a bit, mainly because I have my nether portal and we're gonna have more things soon to come. Um, but as you can tell, I made the place look a lot more overgrown. I didn't realize you can actually bone meal the glow lichen to spread around, which is pretty nice. It obviously adds some light. I added my last spore blossom right here uh, because I obviously need these particles throughout the sewer, but I made this place look a lot more nasty. I used my only hanging roots as well down here. I think it looks good. Added some sea pickles everywhere. Added some moss. But the main plan wasn't to make it look better. I actually wanted to expand this somehow to the black market area. I have decided. Oh look, a spider. But I've decided on a big change for our house here. Absolutely big change. Not up here, but down here. This whole underground base that I've been struggling with for so long, like, to finish. Because I had no idea what I want to do with it. See all this? It looks ugly because I didn't know what I want to do with it. We are turning this into a giant sewer hub. So initially, this was the sewer hub. Um, just like a sewer hub is the connection of all the sewers. But rather, this is just going to be a little link area, <laughs> I guess. What I am going to do is we're going to take out this big chunk right here and we're going to have this giant area and we're going to drop this floor about 10 to 15 blocks and we're going to have a really big room and this is going to be the main sewer hub. It's going to be nasty, slimy and I'm doing this because I'm a slime. I want it to fit my world. I still want it to be like an area where I can possibly put these map walls but I really just want it to be a giant sewer. But now that I've thought of it, I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to do it so bad. You know what? Why don't I just start this episode? We don't have to finish it. We can just start on it, okay? Yeah. Don't be silly, Dallas. Um, this is where I was going to connect it in the future. I think I will. Um, I, this isn't really a sewer. This is just kind of like a basement slash sewer slash something. But over here, this is all I got done. Um, I was able to finish... Well, I didn't finish the ceiling exactly. I got to still decide what I want to put up there. But I got the cross section of the brick. I think it looks great. And back in here, I'm going to do these every so often down here. Get rid of this torch. And when we're down here and I have maybe a lot of these, um, maybe they'll spawn some mobs. 
That's my best bet. They look spooky, and this is where we can just kind of wait for them to spawn and kind of battle them. Oh man, I'm beyond excited to get this started. I've always been wanting to work on this down here, but for the years it's been here, I just had no idea what to do with it. And now I do. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get started. We have a lot of work to do. Again, this is not going to be finished today. So first off, we got to get the maps situated. Uh, I'm going to put some double chests over here. And I guess put the giant maps in there. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh man. This is going to be rough to organize. How many is along in a chest? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wow, that's perfect. Okay, cool. This might be a good time to be able to update all these maps as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why are they all called, like some of them are called map zero and then some are actually like called normal. Like, well normal is in like a random number. But that is 120 maps for that wall right there. Hey, we'll be getting a lot of glowstone back. We gotta take this one down next. And I will not be putting this one back up in a new place. I'm actually going to make a whole new map of the same area, but updated. Because I know a lot of those are outdated. Now we have some old stuff down here. Uh, whoa. What is that? Why does that look so cool? And why don't maps actually look... Whoa, hang on. What is that texture and why aren't they using that? I gotta look at this now. What is this? Oh my, I might actually use that. I might need to put that, like I don't need all this. I might, I don't know why that's like that. Oh wait, what the? Oh, oh wait, oh. Oh, these are the old two to four. Okay, yeah, I saved these. So as you can tell, you, this is my whole base right here and it's in the intersection of four maps. And this two to four, is smack dab in the center, so... Yeah, I forgot when I was trying to expand this, I realized they're all different now. I'm gonna use that one, though, for, like, putting in an item frame. Now, what are these ones over here? I've just... Okay. Water. I just have maps all over... More water. Oh, that's really old. Outdated textures. Ah, this one fit in here perfectly. Okay. The maps are taken care of. Now, I'm just gonna start taking down all the stalactites and lamps. Oh wait, it's Bob. Bob, come here, come here. If he has small drip leaf, I need to buy all of them. Hey buddy, do you have it? No, come on, dude. All right, this is kind of sad. Get it all cleaned up here. Um, got all the drip stone away. I'm not gonna take down any of that. I don't know how I want the ceiling to look yet. When I make this sewer, I gotta take this. Well, maybe I should decide that, but no, 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 I'm good. Oh, hi, Creeper. <laughs> so, this right here, I'm not going to take down. These are some original... Pro Is this my original project wall? I'm trying to think back. Just blow it up. I think it is, and it's pretty old. All I'm going to do is take away these lights here and just kind of have some moss grow over it in this sewer so you can kind of see it, just kind of like an Easter egg of my old stuff around here. Got to get rid of this, too. This was all my treasure maps I would put up on here. and Some of them are found, some aren't. All right, so now we start digging. I do have multiple pathways to different things, but we're gonna worry about those once the main place is built. So I want it to be big, so I gotta get rid of this middle chunk here. As much as I love having this here, it looks so cool. I need it. All right, got that cleared out, just that little section there. I wonder if I can move this guy. Can I move him with the lead? Oh, I can't. Never mind. Can I push him? Please tell me I can push you. Okay, good. <laughs> this guy's crippled as well, by the way. We didn't know a lot of animals. Is there a creeper? Then why are you freaking out? There must be a cave below us because this guy has always done this. We'll probably break into that cave system as we dig this out. So. This is about as big as it's going to be. This is good, but imagine it about 10 to 15 blocks deeper. This is going to be a big room. And I want it to be the main sewer hub. This is where I want a lot of my base of operations to go. I want it to look nasty. I'm going to have like slime blocks everywhere. I'm going to have multiple secret entrances and I just want it to look cool. Well, I guess all we got left to do now is just start digging. Here we go. 
Bob! Bob! Give me a drip leaf, okay? I want it all. What the? That sounded like a lot of bobs. Well, I'll take that glowstone. <laughs> this place doesn't even look the same anymore. That's where the big map wall was. Uh, I kind of extended that sewer to come out this side because we want all of the sewer areas to be pouring down here. I'm having a hard time judging if this is big enough or not. I think I should go down one more. <laughs> okay, so I thought way too long and hard about this. I think this is going to be a sloppy sewer. And what that means is, originally I was going to structure it very nicely like the original sewer hub over there and make it look like a uniform pattern in here. Make it look symmetrical basically, but rather it's going to be kind of a giant cave, but it's going to have these like cesspools full of liquids and nasty looking stuff and just random pipes coming out of all over the place. Because in reality, I'm just one person. I'm just going to dump this all into like the center of the earth. <laughs> So right here, I have these layouts. I'm going to build something just like this, which I love so much. It looks so cool, especially when it's gonna be a little bit dark in there and you're gonna come in and then you're just gonna see it glowing like that. What you do is there's lava at the bottom or you can do glowstone. I'll probably use glowstone since I have a lot of it. And then you layer it from lime green, from yellow to lime green. Uh, you can do it as many times as you want. The lower you go down, uh, the better I think it looks. Starting to turn out fairly well now, as you can see. Got that one finished. This one is taking a lot of resources, like far more than I anticipated. So I have to keep going out to the desert biome to collect sand, because I think I have enough and then I don't have enough. Oh, I just want to see the end product. It's going to look so good. And there is the final result. Oh, oh, baby, I like it. <laughs> well, not quite. I'm going to add a pipe in the center and I think I'm going to have that go to the ceiling. And then over here, I think I'm just going to have like a small little pipe leaking out into this. Oh, this is going to look great down here. Well, as much as I want to keep working on this, I have been doing too much today. <laughs> and uh, it's time I call it quits. Which I'll go ahead and answer today's comment question, which comes from Jan Willem Lambers. How was moving into your new apartment? Was it hard work and how did the connection work? So I don't know if you're referring to my new apartment as when I moved out of my parents or my new new apartment when I moved from my old apartment, which was considered my new apartment, but not anymore. To catch you guys up, I don't know if you knew this or not, but that apartment I moved into last summer, uh, I, I actually got kicked out of there. <laughs> and I don't think it's exactly my fault. That place was, it was like considered a luxury apartment, but the the landlord made it really cheap. So the guy below me, I would always hear him clear his throat, like small stuff like that. And you could just hear everything everyone was doing. And there was a rule at this apartment complex where you couldn't make any noise after 10 p.m. And having the job that I have where uh, I usually stay up pretty late, you know, just playing games or watching TVs on the weekends, I would have some friends over and there were times we got a little bit loud and I would get a complaint. <laughs> And I, you get up to three complaints and then you're booted out of there. So yeah, I got kicked out of there and I had to move out pretty quick. Luckily, I moved right down the road to this other apartment complex. It's not any better, but it's not bad too. So luckily when I got kicked out, I had the option to move out so I didn't get an eviction on my record. So I got into this place pretty easily. And that's why before the hardcore series started, I had this kind of break going on. Oh my God. Because I was in the process of moving. I've never had, ever, ever in my whole life of living here had dogs spawn in this area. Now this is considered like a forest biome, but I've never seen this. Wow. Well, I'm going to swing on my swing and think about my sewer a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.